So this is pretty much the latest ECU on the market. It has altitude control, it also has uh, CO, so it measures the carbon monoxide inside the room. But there is no ECU in it. However, I hooked it up to uh, a board. And yeah, I have full control. So I can set it to 50%. And the thing is actually doing its thing. 75 25 That thingy doesn't have a limit So I can put it at 100% and it actually is screaming I'm not going to put it at 100% I don't think it's a good healthy but Here's 90 Let me put in the old ECU and see what's the difference. It doesn't need to be complicated at all. Um, I've seen a couple of videos where people seem to make it complicated or so, but it's actually not. Temporarily place the ECU in it. This one actually allows me to turn on the fan without turning on the complete unit. This is very important because I actually want to measure the amount of airflow that is going out of there. Uh, and, and also noting it so I can actually make a script that's going to do pretty much exactly the same without overpowering the engine otherwise it's going to fail or fry, burn out, whatever you want to call it. So everybody is saying that these things run about 5500 RPMs based on what? So the difference that I heard when I started up with my own PDLBM controller and my own MOSFETs and with my own flybacks and all that shit that I put on it the thing is actually capable of doing way more RPMs, or at least maybe it's not doing the RPMs, but it makes a hell of a racket and the sound is completely different than the original ECU. So that's the reason why I have to check if I'm not pushing it too far. And also I want to know where the limit's at. So if level 5 on the yellow ECU is say a certain uh, meters a second, um, I find out it's about 75% on my ECU. I know there's the limit and everything extra, it's just gonna push in more oxygen in the combustion chamber and therefore it's gonna produce a little bit more heat, but I don't wanna push it too far. But I do have an ECU that has no limits. Or I'm gonna blow the thing up, which is <laughs> more likely, but yeah, that's fun content. The system actually turned on, which is obvious. This button actually allows me to turn on the fan without Turning on the heater. And let's do some measurements. Two point two meters a second on level one. So the next one up is obviously number two. and 3.5 level 3 4.5 I think Four point five, four point seven. Level four. Five point five. Five point six, five point five, five point six. Level five. Level 
7. So level 6, there is. Eight one. There's no seven, right? No. So this is the maximum that this unit is capable with this ECU. So this is how it sounds right now. But these are the numbers, and one of the reasons why I want to check is because I'm actually going to increase surface area with RVS mesh, which is going to push in between the fence and actually uh, increase the surface area so when the wind is traveling over it it's picking up a little bit more heat and therefore it's going to kick out a little bit more heat inside the room so i want to increase the surface area this is by the way uh, 310 s stainless steel mesh so this is pretty much concept it's still full of holes it's still full of gaps and the airflow can actually go underneath it it's just in between the fence it's going to increase the surface area by a lot. I already know that people are gonna say you shouldn't use two different metals. It's not gonna hurt. You shouldn't use it. Still doing it though. So don't care. So it's completely wrapped around right now. Uh, I just need to remove the axis. And I have to sew it up with steel wire so it's not getting loose. So I have to go to the comma <laughs> and get some steel wire otherwise it's yeah it's gonna just unravel. So if I'm burning the fuel and it's transferring its heat a little bit more efficient, it's an increase. Only if it's about 0.5 to 2%, I don't give a crap. It's an increase and it's not reducing the airflow. So that's the big part. So I've got a stainless steel wire, so I'm gonna zigzag it through. So it's not gonna flip up and get loose and all that. It's really tight, so it's not getting touched the sides or the bottom or the top. I do have to uh, cut this out eventually when I remove the sensor or replace the sensor. So it's not touching the sides, it's completely clear. So it's booted again, I'm gonna do uh, level one and level six. That would be the smart thing to do. Level one, it should be, well, it's still going now. Uh, 2.3 2.4 Yeah, so level 1 is at 2.1, 2.2 It's going up, going down Yeah Which is the upper limit that I've measured the first time So there's no change Let's go to level 6 which should be between 7.5 and 8. Looking in the middle. So exactly the same, 8. So it's fully mashed up, no decrease. No ECU, so let's close it up and put it to the uh, ESP32. I don't like the wires. Um, yeah, let me get some connectors because this one sucks. So I replace the wires, so at least uh, my part. The fan motor still has the same original wires. So I set it to 25%, which is gonna be baseline, I think. Which is already higher than, yeah, two meters a second. It's around 3.4 right now. A little higher, even 3.3, 3.5, 3.4. So it's at 15%. 
Well, that's a little bit low. 1.8, by the way. Uh, let's make it 17. <laughs> it's 2.1 meters a second, and it's at 17%. So that's level one. By the way, I don't hear anything. But it's still doing a thing. <laughs> This thing is freaking quiet now. Let's ramp it up to 50 percent. 6.7. 6.7. By the way, the fan is really, really limited by the original ECU. This thing is already kicking 9.2. The original was 6. At level 6, it was 8. 9.2. We're at only 70%. It's already up 89 8.6. 67 8.4 <laughs> 6.6 8.3 8.4 65 8.1 So 63% is the highest fan speed on the original ECU Only 63% So the ECUs are limiting the fan speed which is pretty obvious, otherwise you're gonna burn down the motor easier and faster. But it's only at 63%, so there's 37% left, which means that I can actually push it up from eight meters per second to about 10 meters, pretty easy. So with only 63%, I'm getting eight meters a second, and that's actually where it's capped at. I think it's supposed to be 63, let's make it 70%. See if we're gonna get the uh, magical number. 10 meters a second. Uh, 70. 8. 8.8. 9.3. Almost there. <laughs> Come on. Yes sir, we're at 10. At only 82%. <laughs> this thing is a turbocharger. <laughs> I'm not gonna push my lock. Uh, I know for a fact that these things go way beyond 90, 95%, but I'm not gonna push it to 100%. I don't wanna burn out the motor. So my ECU is actually kicking ass because 10 meters a second is actually a really big upgrade. Especially from the original uh, ECU, which only allows me 63% or 8 meters a second. And therefore it's going to allow me to burn a little bit more fuel because it's pushing in a little bit more oxygen. I don't know what's going to be the results. I haven't tested fully yet because I haven't turned on yet and tested all the features. But this is the second thing that's finished. So the fuel pump settings, they are finished. The fan is finished. The glow plug is finished and uh, now I have to wait till my daughter is back from holidays and then I'm gonna turn the thing on. So the original yellow ECUs, which are the newer style ECUs with the CO2 monitoring and the, the altitude adjustment, caps at 63 to 65%. Which means that it's doing 8 meters a second, but there's the limit. And that's why these things aren't pushing in any more air and therefore not capable of burning more fuel. Uh, or it's gonna suffocate. Did 
there she blows. I don't know if it's going to be a big difference. So let's put it at level 10. Success. Six, six point one, six two, six three, four, five, six three. This thing is getting hot fast. So I'm only pushing it. Six six, six and a half. Right there. You keep in mind there are a couple of bands and there is a tube on it that's about a meter long. So. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit slower. So I think it's the same amount of meters a second when I put the thing on the motor. So yeah, oh, and the, <laughs> the temperature went up really fast. Um, why do cats like wires? I don't get it. <laughs> 